ти перевірила ці новини. Що реально в Київ попали? Ну реально ніхто не вірив. Ще моя знайома виставила: "Хватить репостити новини, це старе фото, де взорвався балон з газом". Просто тобто люди, люди, люди ще й не вірили. Ніхто газ да. такі. Так, на початку, да, і там наш сусід військовий. Hi guys, it's Tanya. Today we're going to hear three different stories friends of mine who've been forced to leave their homes. Hi Lida, long time didn't Hi. see you. It's been a while. Uh, tell us please, where did you live before war started? Before war and now I live in a residential city, the Odessa region. Can you describe morning 24th of February? We heard in the news that Russia is planning to attack, but nobody fully believes that it would actually happen. I can't remember exactly how I first found out about the war, but my mom says that she was the first who read the news and then told me. My um, friend texted me in the morning, war, uh, my husband worked at sea, and then war started, he was at work. I've got a message from him in the morning, good morning, the news reports, it all began, if something happens in our city, take Maria down to the basement. Don't panic. And then I started to panic. I uh, gathered myself and went uh, to the petrol station and also to the supermarket. Maria is your daughter, right? Yes, my daughter. When the first day I went to the same time with my little girl on the playground, and there were my parents, and he was in the room. But the first day I said, God, did you see the news? He said, you checked the news. Що реально в Київ попали? Ну реально ніхто не вірив. Ще моя знайома виставила: "Хватить репостити новини, це старе фото, де взорвався балон з газом". Ну це ну, я просто згадую цей перший день, це був просто реально, просто тобто, люди, люди ще й не вірили. Ніхто газ так, так, на початку, да, і там наш сусід військовий, і мій вже мій родич каже: "Що там твій чоловік?" Вона каже: "Його вик і всі такі, тут ту Я кажу, а я казала, що це правда. Я вірю українським новинам. When you decided to move and what countries did you consider for moving? Uh, I packed my suitcase twice and then for the third time I left. It was scary to stay and scary to leave. Uh, every night I prayed that my family and I would wake up alive in the morning. We didn't know uh, what uh, to expect. Um, I was afraid that one day I would look out on the window and see Russian soldiers. It was scary the a missile full on my house. One of the reasons why I did not uh, go immediately, my mother couldn't walk. A month before the war, she had an operation on her leg. She refused to leave and my conscience did not allow to leave her. And uh, it was calm in my city. But uh, my husband was very worried about us. He said, how can I continue to leave if something happens to you? Uh, he convinced me to leave. And uh, I realized that I won't forgive myself if something happens to Masha. I have every opportunity to live and save her life. Expect courage. It's not so easy uh, to leave your home and go in the unknown for me. And um, on the 4th of March, Maria and I, my best friend Olya and her son and uh, my husband's sisters left Ukraine. We didn't know exactly which country we were going. We decided that the first stop will be Moldova, Kishinev because uh, there were relatives there who can have us for a night. So which country did you choose? Olya decided to visit her brother in Turkey. She offered us to go with her and we agreed. I uh, wish there was a man in uh, our women's team, so we felt safer. We uh, went by car. The road to Turkey took us six days, exactly 24 hours wow. of which we were crossing the Ukraine-Moldova border. It was difficult. It seemed that our lines was not moving at all. There were a lot of cars, people who were crossing the border on foot. The weather was cold. Women with children and uh, suitcases in their arms were walking kilometers to the border. I feel very sorry about our people. Many volunteers helped distribute water and hand drinks. Uh, there was also a tent tower for immigrants in Moldova near the border. I would like to thank all the people who are helping Ukrainians in such a difficult time for us. What is the most difficult part to live in Turkey once you get in there? A large number of Russian tourists was the most difficult part. Turkey is a beautiful country, uh, warm climate and uh, sea. Uh, it was uh, perfect for my child, but I couldn't enjoy life knowing what was happening in my country. Um, worrying about parents is the hardest thing for me. So where did you live in Turkey? We lived uh, in Alanya once we uh, uh, took part uh, in a meeting support of Ukraine. <laughs> Тут 
Туреччини я поїхала, тобі вже поясню українською, реально ми поїхали з Туреччини, дівчата поїхали з літаком, Оля додому, Максим, мій чоловік, приїжджає у Туреччину, і він каже, ми не будемо так далеко, ти не будеш далеко у Туреччині, давай десь поблизу до України, тому що ти, мабуть, знаєш, ця людина, яка мені казала, Виїжджай, виїжджай, виїжджай. Ну, тобто це було настільки вдома. Таня, це було оце перша неділя, друга дома. У нас просто ми ревіли, як в нас хтось, не дай Боже, помер. Це був капець. Я кажу, мамі, мама, мені треба виїжджати. Мама каже, хто з сусідів поїхав? Куди ти збираєшся з дитиною малою їхати? Ти що, щось? Ну коротше, в мене вдома, знаєш, я боюся залишатися, реально, боюся їхати. Максим каже, батьки, це батьки, наша сім'я, це я, ти і Маша, ти повинна виїхати, ти, ти повинна її зберегти життя, це твій обов'язок. Я реально думаю, мій чоловік далеко, так склалася судьба, я буду тут, як це взагалі все у нас буде. І ось ми вирішили поїхати. Він приїхав у Турцію і каже, хай будемо вже ближче до України, десь в Тішиньові жити, тому що ти поїдеш додому, ти не будеш тут сама з дитиною, все. У нас вдома вже спокійно, вже армія наша стабілізувалася, вже роздільно не здадуть. Бо чесно скажу, перший тиждень я дуже боялася, що буде з Придністров'я, і ми тупо не встигнемо нікуди втікти. Це от ще я так парилася з цього Придністров'я, нас так ним лякали, що там реально 30 кілометрів. За 10 хвилин доїдуть, і я вже дивилася, а куди мені далі бігти, на, яку, на який кордон, як далі втікати. Тому що ну, це зараз розповідаю, це, як знаєш, десь життя не моє. Зараз же так, ну, все так спокійно, тут, 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 щоб не згадати. Mm-hmm. З Максимом ще пожили е, до кінця е, серпня е, у Кишиньові. Я поїхала з Машою додому, і він з Кишиньова полетів знову на роботу. Тобто, ну, але е, Турцію я реально. Покинула на початку учу. Ви поїхали додому. Ми приїхали у Молдавію. Там наші родичі Максима, родичі вони розповідали про те, проходять такі слухи, що десь у Придністрові є шахта, де вона заповнена повністю е, зброєю. Що тут і в Молдавії не спокійно, тому ми і в Молдавії не залишилися. Is I understand now you back to Ukraine, right? What is your plan for the future? Do you have any plans for the future now? I have no plans for the future. It... I try live now and here. I believe in a repeat victory of Ukraine and I dream that everything will be as good as possible with us. Але казати українською, то мені кожен день у мене просто настрій скаче. І я думаю, Боже, з такими чоловіками, як у нас, з такими людьми, як у нас, ми заживемо краще за всіх, а потім я виходжу на вулицю у реальному житті і дивлюсь на своїх сусідів, які палять листя, які не можна, які ганяють на машині туди-сюди, коли комендантська година і коли їм робиш зауваження, вони бігують. Я думаю, що реально всі розплачуться, що найкращі наші хлопці гинуть там або калічаться. А отут у нас залишається щось таке, я не знаю, чесно, з ким нам країну виборювати. So after four months in Turkey and then you spend some time in Kishinev, Moldova, right? You decided to move back to Ukraine. Why? There is a steel war, there is not victory yet, it's not that safe. Why you made this decision? It, uh, as the proverb says, uh, being a guest uh, is nice, but being at home is better. I missed uh, my family very much. My parents missed Masha, and uh, it's hard for me to be away from home. And uh, thanks uh, to the army of Ukraine, in uh, my city is still calm. I've been talking to so many friends of mine, those who was forced to move to other countries, and all of them planning to go back to Ukraine, and the biggest issue is their families. So Ukrainians, like in general, are very close to their family. This is the biggest issue why they want to live in Ukraine, why they are so uh, in love, like about the place where they live, about their culture. I, I totally understand you. It's very hard to live so many years abroad. You know my story. Every single year, I think this is my last year. I cannot handle it anymore. It's time to go back. And then something happened. COVID, war, something else. Like it's always don't have that perfect timing. So I exactly understand what did you feel when you was abroad. I'm sure that people will be very interested to see your story. You just share with us. Thank you for that. Uh, see you next time. Червона калина похилилася, чогось наша славна Україна зажуре.